Did House Connor Shear, he made the trip, obviously. Yeah, no, Connor's feeling better, and uh, we'll assess him this afternoon, and he's still day-to-day, -day, but uh, looking, looking good and back in the group. There's been talk for a couple of years now about Ristolainen's, I guess, workload. You know, a lot of the previous coaches have talked about lessening it. What gives you the confidence to put him out there for, for 24 minutes at this point and keep him, you know, as that guy? Yeah. Well, we don't, it's not that we really sit and have a target. Uh, you know, we're trying to definitely have maximums that we want to hit and avoid. But uh, with him, it's just because he's playing multiple roles, uh, the matchup often against top lines of other team, plus the the PK and power play time that he gets will give him these minutes, but it's more important that he keeps that quality high, which he has been. And, uh, you know, the aggressive side of him is very helpful too at the puck. Uh, you could see, especially against Dallas, that their, their top heavy players were, were getting a lot of resistance from Risto, and we like that part of his game combined with the offense he had. So just a very complete player. In addition to working with the goalies, what does Mike Bowles add to your coaching staff? Well, Mike is much more than a, than a goalie coach and just like our whole staff was put together with, with people that have, uh, you know, wider spectrums of interest and understanding and experience. And Mike has been a part of two Stanley Cup champions and did an amazing job following that in Carolina and just brings uh, a strong eye in the sky. You know, he's up there looking for specific things that we decide before the game and he's reeling them down during the game and then also in our post-game analysis has a different perspective as we had on the bench. So uh, the addition of, of Mike into the staff, plus you know the way we approach our practices, we're always all in on the discussions of what our goals are and how we want to go. But uh, again, just a, a very wise, experienced uh, coach. So he, 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 although everybody has their specialty, he is, uh, he's much more than a goalie coach for sure. Wins kind of contribute to stable lineups as coming into the season. How nice is it that you do yeah. get to see the same group over and over and see what they can do on a nightly basis? Yeah, I mean we've we've uh, changed minimally so far in the lineup, but uh, you know again it's it's looking at every day individually. Who are the players that we think are going to give us the best chance to perform? Has been the motto since the beginning of the season, and uh, working with that group, it's more the group principles and the, and the execution of those that we care about. It's looking for that constant improvement every day that we care about, and uh, again, that uh, you know that we've been able to keep keep a core group together has been very helpful in the process. Yeah, when you and the coaches put together this game plan, was it just based on anyone could go in this line up and do it? Or was there, or did you say, hey, Jack, we have Jacks, so we should do this? Or did you just do have a general game plan? For you? Yeah, no, I mean, the plan was put together in the summertime for sure. And uh, as the coaches were added, they added inputs, which were extremely valuable for the final product. And, you know, we were extremely confident going into training camp what we needed to do with this group and what our what our way needed to be to find out what it was made of. And we didn't know what that was, where that potential would take us. We had no idea that we'd be sitting here now, you know, after six games. It's more uh, continuing with that process. And, uh, you know, we, we don't see a lot of change necessary. You know, I had a good talk with Don Granado, who's been watching us from, from outside the inside and a really helpful eye right now and giving us some really valuable feedbacks as he watches the games. And, you know, we are not uh, changing anything since since training camp. It's just getting these things right is, is what matters and we still have a long way to go till we're, till we're, uh, you know, till we're at, at our potential. How is Don since you mentioned it? Uh, Don, Don is doing much better and uh, you know, we're just taking our time on that and we're being patient and you know, he's attached to us, he's in the coaching room with us in spirit and communicating with us in a, in a very healthy way so we're pleased he's on the right track. Your systems, how have they evolved since you, you started coaching? I guess, and how much did your experience overseas mm -hmm. coaching Switzerland sort of mold yeah. the way that you want you know, yeah, this yeah. team to play and the way that all your teams really have played? Well, I think that going back, I, I was speaking with, with some close friends in the last few months, and it's just amazing how, how we evolve as coaches and things that we used to think are important. Um, as an example, I, I remember I went multiple years of thinking defense first, defense first, but that's totally out the window in my brain right now. It's, it's when we don't have the puck, we're playing defense, and when we have it, we play offense. Now, what are we going to do? And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's whatever we're, we need right now, and also maintaining possession is something that, that's evolved in the way the game is played in the National Hockey League now. The, the puck possession becomes much more important in, uh, in, in maintaining that possession. So lots of things have evolved also emotionally. The way you are, a lot more. Uh, I have much more pleasure in the day 
than I used to have maybe as a younger coach fighting just to even survive on a day-to-day -day basis. Now it's more realizing at my age that you should enjoy every day that you can be a head coach at, uh, at any level just because it's uh, what I was born to do. And uh, so the evolution through the Swiss experience and international experience, whether it's with Canada or Team Europe, what's valuable there is how many different oppositions you play within a short period of time with completely different strategies, completely different personalities, and, and being flexible within your, your, your uh, approaches to the game to adjust to all that uh, uniqueness of the different countries around the world. Now in the National Hockey League we have much more copy-paste. A lot of fundamental things are done the same right through the league. S but still within that there are nuances. Each team has a, its own personality that isn't so obvious for the outside viewer and we I believe that one of my one of my strengths would be that flexibility even within a game to adjust uh, the way we approach certain situations. Um, probably the biggest learner but again the beauty of coaching is you never stop learning, you never stop growing, you never stop evolving and uh, you know I feel strategically definitely in a completely different place than I was for instance five years ago. Tyler posted something, you guys don't take the ice, he's been really impressed with how guys have taken advantage of the resources around there. Is that been what you've seen so far? No, oh, we're so excited with the whole plan. You know what we do in our pre-activation, what we're doing post games, post practices, the way the players are 100% bought in, that was pre my era. It was definitely here already and they came with that mindset. They've worked that way all summer. Uh, I've, I've said that so many things from the past were done right and so many things in the past have helped to set up what we're doing right now and all we're doing is building upon that foundation and one of them for sure is the off-ice work, is the support the team gets from the larger staff, whether it's in the medical side, the psychological side, the, you know, the, the, the whole nutritional side, everything. There is a, there is a foundation here uh, which, which gives us then the opportunity to be the best we can be on the ice.